Welcome back to the 2024 Big 12 Tournament Predictions, and let's get right into it. I will be predicting every matchup in this bracket and giving you guys a champion. And before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more college basketball conference tournament content and bracket content when we get that, as well as some bracketology over this final week of the season. And let's get started with the 13 against 12 matchup. It's Oklahoma State against UCF. These two got into a thriller just a couple weeks ago. UCF ended up winning it at Oklahoma State, and I see that happening again. Oklahoma State overmatched here. Not the greatest team. Got on a little bit of a hot streak a couple weeks ago, beating BYU, and then went won at Cincinnati, which was a brutal loss for Cincinnati's at-large tournament hopes. But I think UCF has been the better team as of late, and I like UCF to win that one there. Then we've got West Virginia against aforementioned Cincinnati. And West Virginia, to clean things up, 14 seed here. Dismal season. They cannot win away from home. They've got a couple marquee wins at home. But my goodness, they cannot win away from Morgantown. I like Cincinnati to win easily. They're coming off a blowout win against the same West Virginia squad, 92-56. to some of West Virginia's away games, like that K-State one that went to overtime, they were down 25 in that game, went to overtime. So this West Virginia team stinks, and Cincinnati split with them, but they are much better. I like Cincinnati to get another win that should boost their net ranking. Cincinnati is one of the teams that will be looking to maybe climb back into the bubble conversation. As you can see, Kansas in the second round, then Baylor in the third round. They've got some runway to do it. If they can make a run, we'll see if they can, but they are... Not even in the bubble conversation right now. They might have to win this tournament outright, which will be a tall task to say the least. Then we've got UCF against BYU. BYU in the second round. BYU swept the season series, but both games were surprisingly close. And I'm actually going to give this one to UCF here to bounce back. I like the value here. The spread's going to be a little bit wide, but UCF played BYU close both times. BYU was up bigger at home, and then it got close at the end, but... I think UCF can give them a game. BYU showed so many three-pointers that they're a high-variance team. And usually BYU blows out these lower teams. But UCF has been the one thorn in their side. Kind of a tough draw for BYU. Most of the time, BYU will win. But I'll pick the upset here. Give a little spice in my bracket. I like UCF to end BYU right there. BYU almost won at Iowa State. Picked up the win away from home at Kansas. Not worried about them in the macro, but if they do lose this game, I'd still pick them as a dangerous team in the tournament. Maybe they'd even be a little underrated if that happens. Oklahoma against TCU. Oklahoma, a should-be-in team in the tournament. In the bubble conversation, but should be safely in at a 10 seed right now. Maybe they lose this. They go to an 11. So they're not necessarily playing in complete desperation. TCU also safely in the field. And I like TCU to win this game. These two played once in the regular season, second game of conference play. TCU won against what was at the time a number nine Oklahoma, kind of a fraudulent ranking there, just from the out-of-conference blowouts that Oklahoma was getting. But I like TCU to win. Oklahoma has been on the downward spiral. So has TCU. TCU has only won two of their last five and against the Dregs, Cincinnati, and West Virginia. TCU is the better team here, and they're coming off the bounce-back effect against UCF. Oklahoma has only won two of their past seven against Cincinnati and Oklahoma State, so kind of the dregs there too. And they haven't won in those seven games. Both of those were in overtime in one possession wins. I'm alarmed for this Oklahoma team. They obviously went down to the wire with Houston at home, but my goodness, they cannot play close with anyone else. I like TCU to win it by double digits here, although it could be close because both of these teams like to play in close games, but I think TCU is the much better team there. They've got K-State against Texas. K-State just scores that win against Iowa State to keep themselves even remotely in the bubble picture. I like Texas to bounce back and win. K-State coming off a big win. Texas coming off also a big win against Oklahoma, but Texas is safely in the field. I just feel like they're the better team here. K-State needs it more, so I would give it them that. Jerome Tang also 12-0 and in two years in overtime games. If that one goes to that, maybe look for a live betting opportunity on K-State because if they just get it to Perry, he can just make all his free throws and they win all these close games. So they're very clutch, but I like Texas to win. I think they're the much better team there in the 7-10. Then we've got Cincinnati against Kansas. 
And I have Kansas actually power rated about as the second or third rated team in the conference. Them, Baylor, and Iowa State are all very similar under Houston in that 2-3-4 range. I like Kansas to handle Cincinnati here. Only played once. It was at Kansas, and Kansas only won by five. A little bit of a misleading score, though, as Kansas pretty much handled that game throughout. So I like Kansas to win there. And let's move on to these quarterfinal matchups where we finally see these teams that got the double by. UCF against Texas Tech, and I see the clock striking midnight for the 12-seed UCF Cinderella story here. I like Texas Tech to win. Again, brutal gauntlet for UCF. If they win this game, maybe even beat Houston, get to the final, maybe they can have a shot for an at-large, but they really need this one. I don't think they'll get it. UCF already beat Texas Tech in the regular season. I like Texas Tech to get back at them and win handily. Texas Tech coming off a big win over Baylor at home. I think they're rolling in here. I think they are the much better team than UCF. If UCF even makes it this far, which I doubt they will, I like Texas Tech to win. And then TCU against Houston. I like Houston to manhandle them. Just beat Kansas by 30 on their home floor. Houston's been a little shady away from home. Keep an eye on that. We'll see how they perform on the neutral site. They've been very good on the neutral site, especially against these overmatched teams here. These two played once in the regular season, mind you. TCU won by one at home against Houston. It's been a long time since then. Houston's gotten hot. I like Houston to win handily. They remember that game, and they'll be better prepared for TCU's antics here. Then Iowa State against Texas, and Texas is also fraudulent, not as fraudulent as K-State, but they are certainly one of the dregs of the league here, despite their seven seed. I think they're a little overrated there. I like Iowa State to bounce back after that K-State loss, which was a little bit shocking to say the least there, but I like Iowa State to win easy, lock down Texas, and score consistently on the offensive end there. Then Kansas Baylor, and I really do not fault anyone if you see it going either way. I'm going to pick Kansas this time. These two teams split. Baylor very undermanned for the game at Fog Allen, and then Kansas looked like they were going to be undermanned at Foster Pavilion, but then McCuller did play. Baylor wins handily. I think the Jayhawks actually get the rematch here, so Baylor will have lost two straight going into the tournament, and that is never a good sign. Baylor it's been a couple years straight now that they've, you know, kind of folded in this Big 12 tournament and then folded in the bracket stage. We'll see what happens this year. Won't help Baylor's seed line a lot, these two losses in a row as I'm projecting it. But I like Kansas top to bottom. They had some injuries throughout. So did Baylor, but it affected clearly Kansas's seed more. They choked to BYU at home, didn't need to do that. Played a pretty hard schedule in the Big 12. I like Kansas to bounce back, win the rubber match here. So you've got the one two, six, and four here. Houston against Texas Tech, and I think this one's easy for Houston here. They just dominated this regular season series, and I like it to continue for Keldon Sampson's squad, and they will make it to the finals easily there. Then Iowa State against Kansas. I like Kansas to win this one narrowly. Again, I was back and forth. Kansas, such a tough thing to do to win this third consecutive game against a notable opponent we'll see if they can actually do this these teams kansas lost at iowa state some hilton magic there and they did not rematch i like them to bounce back and win it was pretty close i like kansas to bounce back maybe have a good shooting night mcculler gets it going furphy and the boys there and make it to the final but then i think you know, this is this would be their fourth game at this point. Houston, on another day's rest, had a pretty easy schedule, all things considered, with TCU and Texas Tech. This will have been Kansas' third game against what I project as the top three teams in the league in a row. No, that's not happening, especially against this Houston team that will out-hustle even a well-rested opponent. Houston just won by 30. I don't think that's turning around. And while Kansas did win at home against Houston... They shot an unbelievable 60-plus percent against this Houston defense. That's not happening again. The only path to victory for the Jayhawks is if Houston just goes cold from outside. And even so, I don't think that Kansas will score enough to beat them. I like Houston to win the Big 12 tournament easy there. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and comment your predictions below.